I'm Bonnie Browning and I'm here at AQS Quilt Week in Daytona Beach, Florida. And now I get to be with the first place winner. Carol <laughs> Bean Berry from New Hampshire won first place. Yes. And this is in the what category? It's um, wall quilts, machine, Station movable machine movable quilted. Machine. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I think probably the most interesting thing about this quilt is it's all made out of wool. Correct. And so tell us a little bit about working with wool and what you did to stitch these pieces on because sure. there are lots of pieces. Yes, there are. I, I, I never counted. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someday when it's back home I'll, I'll, on my wall I'll count the pieces. Um, so it's actually wool, 100% merino wool felt. Um, and so cutting out little pieces and then the nice thing about the felt is it, the edges, they don't ravel. So all. you don't have to turn them under. No, exactly. So I, in some cases, when I did as much as I could of embellishing on the piece in my hand as I could before I attached it onto the, the, the uh, linen background. And in some cases, I just I did a, just did a whip stitch around it um, to attach, and I used a blanket stitch. I did straight I see stitch. I some straight stitching. Yes, like um, in here. And I did so. And it, again, when I first started this, I had only been doing um, wool applique for four months, so I was still nothing learning. like starting on an easy yeah, project. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know. I, I jumped in with both feet into the deep end of the pool. <laughs> So um, I learned as I started doing it, I learned a lot more stitches as I went in and I learned, um, I was in, influenced by different designers like Sue Spargo um, with her stitching and so that's what, as I went along. And so it, that's it, where a lot of your embellishments yes. came, like the circles, this looks very Sue Spargo to me. Uh, yeah, yeah uh -huh. yes, and um, mostly this is this one not so much as this one. This one I start getting into doing bullion knots okay. and um, oh, what else do I have here? I have a, lo a lot more different stitches that um, cast on stitches and whatnot. All right. Okay, so now I know that there's a lot of family history in what yes. you've done here. So tell us what you've done in the corners. Okay. where you have the big tall buildings. Okay, in this corner right here is City Hall in my town, my city of city of Dover in New Hampshire. And the clock time is when I was born. I was okay. born in this, and my whole, my siblings were all born there. So okay. and then in this lower corner is um, the um, academy building at Phillips Exeter Academy where our son went to high school. So they all mean things. This is Thompson Hall at the University of New Hampshire. My husband worked there and this is a church we were married in. <laughs> well, and I know that you've also included a lot of family pets yes. in this quilt. Yes, yes. We've got, um, we've got dogs. This is my nephew's dog, Ruby, and you can barely see him. Those are two birds of my other nephew. And we've got a few <laughs> cats there. And then our dog, Bingo, um, is in on two, at two of our houses. The houses north, south, east, and west are the four houses that we've lived in for the last 40 years since we've been married. So Bingo's lived in two, so he shows up in two of them, and he's also on the back on my label. <laughs> so even though this was a pattern that was on the quiltshow.com, right. boy, have you personalized it. Yes, definitely. Everything, every single building has a meaning. All right. right. Okay, and so then it was a uh, long arm quilted. Yes, in, in by a woman I found on Facebook, um, Cindy Polson, that lives in Utah. And I actually got to meet her last month for the first time. Oh, that's so great. So that was very exciting. Yeah. And so and so I know this isn't the first time you've entered an AQS contest. No, I um, entered into Grand Rapids and I got a second in the same category. And now you want a blue ribbon. Yes. <laughs> well, excited. and so tell me about the process of actually entering your quilt. So I um, looked online and read as much as I could. I called Michelle Thompson, Thompson quite a bit mm -hmm. <laughs> to make sure that I was, I wasn't quite sure cons considering this is my first quilt I've ever made. So I wasn't sure like what category should it be in and whatnot. So she was very helpful with determining that, helping me out with that. Well, so. so for those of you who are afraid to enter your quilts, this is a first <laughs> quilt that she ever finished. 
and look what you've yeah, done. Yeah, I know. It's, I'm blown away. <laughs> well, we can't wait to see more quilts from you. Thank you. And we hope we'll see some quilts from you, too. Go to AmericanQuilter.com and you'll find all the information you need to know to enter.